Football season is in full swing, and tonight editor Todd Prinz and Shane McAllister take us back to one of UofL's greatest recoveries, the tenure of coach John L. Smith, the highs and the lows in this week's WHAS 11 Volt. They offer you the job at uh, Louisville. In 1997, John L. Smith quickly became an intriguing coaching candidate by turning Utah State into a high-powered offense. Meanwhile, Louisville was lost. L stands for lost. The Cardinals had just wrapped up a 1-10 in 10 season. On November 24, 1997, UofL Athletic Director Tom Jurich hired Smith knowing he could turn the program around swiftly. We need to get it going in the proper direction, and I think by holding out for another month or so, we were, it was just going to harm us. So I think when you have an opportunity to get a guy like him, I think we had to be very aggressive. That urgency to hire Smith paid off in his first season as the Cards went 7-5 and five and had the sixth overall offense in Division 1A. Here we go! They also won the keg of nails from then-conference USA rival Cincinnati in a 62 to 19 route. The 1999 season started off with a win over the Cards most hated opponent, Kentucky. They won the Governor's Cup. The Cards would win 56 to 28 with quarterback Chris Redman marveling at how much they'd improved even from just a year ago. Oh man, it's night and day, you know, uh, we really deserve this. We, we've been through a, a lot of tough times and I think we really deserve this. The first two seasons of Smith's tenure were successful. But still, the Cards finished third in Conference USA both years. 2000 would be different, though. They had developed talent and depth. They didn't need to be lucky. Led by Dion Branch, Dave Ragone, and Tony Stallings, U of L would win the conference with a 6-1 record and 9-3 record overall. Having rejuvenated a program in short order, Tom Jurich knew we had to offer an extension to John L. Smith before he was poached by another team. Three years ago, I didn't know what the L stands for. It stands for loaded, <laughs> I promise you. On November 28, 2000, Smith signed a new eight-year contract to remain with the Cards. He emphasized it was the environment here that made it an easy decision. These players that you're around, the people you work for, the city, the fans, I mean, what more can you ask for? And that guilt trip didn't hurt either. We kind of give him a sad look, like, you know, <laughs> please stay. But, he, he, you know, he ain't going to leave us. He's not going to leave us. Before the 2002 GMAC Bowl, John L. Smith was contacted about the Michigan State job. Jurich had a problem with how the situation played out. It was intentionally leaked out of Lansing uh, to put John L. on the spot. He did understand the situation, though. Having won two Conference USA titles and leading them to five consecutive bowl games had made John L. Smith a coaching commodity too hot for U of L to hold on to. I've had probably five to ten schools a year come after John L. You know, so I, I think that that's part of the business, and I understand that. And I knew there would be a day that John L. would be leaving. Getting a more lucrative contract in East Lansing meant this was an easy choice for Smith. Still, he was emotionally invested in this team. They're special kids. They've got two championships and five, five rings, so that's a, a neat deal for them. And the players reciprocated the feeling. Personally for myself, I was, I was pretty sad about it because, you know, Coach Smith's a great guy and I love him. The end of his time may have left a bitter taste in U of L fans' mouths, but during his tenure, he helped resurrect a flatlining program and brought respect back to U of L. L stands for Louisville. <laughs>